What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you the Week 5 CWL Premier matchup. Forge from Steel versus none other than Varhaisaleke. Huge shout out to them. FFS walking away with the victory, the final, 115 to 113. We got a lot of incredible attacks to get through. But before that, we'll go ahead and check out each side of the map. Uh, the stats for this war, Forge from Steel putting up an impressive 8, 10 v 10, 3 stars. We did not have an 11 v 11 triple, but Varhaisaleke did, uh, as you guys saw right there up at the top, uh, they did have one 11 v 11 three star but the difference in this war is they had one dip fail and they only put up six 10 v 10s so that is how ffs got the two star victory in this war in week five so we'll go ahead and start off with the town hall nine action and like i said we have a lot of very interesting attacks to get through but we'll go ahead and start off with this town hall nine we have Brody going to be doing a very interesting attack, bringing the Max Golem coming out of the CC and just going to be straight up mass hogging this base. As you guys see, with that clan castle right up there at the top, he went ahead, dropped that Golem, dropped the poison, easily obviously got the lure, uh, enemy CC came out instantly, and just with a couple wizards and his heroes was able to take out some key defenses. The... Uh, enemy queen and also go ahead and take out the enemy cc troops and here comes that kunga line of hogs from 12 all the way down to nine they're pretty much going to sweep through this base uh used one max poison on the enemy clan castle and bringing one poison help uh with the ground skellies and the other spell it was just all heal spells no jump no rage very 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 simple attack but it's an attack that we do not see all the time uh, but brody executing this one perfectly and also doing it fresh so huge shout out to him having a very impressive war goes ahead and drops that poison not only to catch the ground skellies but also to slow down the enemy bk those hogs are pretty much going to one shot him and that is going to do it for this attack nothing but clean up brody getting it done so that was going to be our Town Hall 9 feature coming from this war. Now we'll go ahead and get into the heavy hitter action. Starting off with CG, aka me, this war. Uh, and look at the army comp we got, you guys. I'll go ahead and link the, the attack strategy to... Um, I'll go ahead and link the attack strategy in the description of this video. This one, we're calling it the Falcon. And what was more impressive about this attack, not only does the base get completely smoked, but the fact that it was done fresh. Yes, this was a fresh 10v10. So we just started with just a few wizards to create this funnel and one baby dragon. We saw a pair of Teslas pop up there at 12 o'clock. Quickly saw that, dropped down three Valkyries to go ahead and take care of that farm. We saw that the funnel was set, dropped down the rest. Uh, I think we had 10, maybe 11 Valkyries going into the core of this base. Our CC bowlers and five bowlers just dropping down a rage, a heal spell, and another rage right there inside the core. And then a rage on the back end. So three rages and two heal spells to go ahead and get through this base. And look at how fast that that kill squad pushed through that base pretty much all the way to the back end of this base getting good value from those rock skips and it, it literally seemed like within seconds uh that kill squad ripped completely through from one side to the other all the defenses that are a threat can be reached uh from over the wall by the archer queen go ahead and pop king ability and if you guys look down at the troop bar, we still have four balloons left to deploy. And we have the Archer Queen ability. So just going to be very, very patient. They're going to go ahead and beat through the wall. Queen takes out the air defense. They go ahead and take out some ground skellies. And only three defenses left. I want to be very, very patient with these loons. Didn't want to drop them too early and have something, you know, something crazy happen. So it was nice and nice and patient. Go ahead and pop the ability as the Archer Queen was getting targeted by the Archer Tower. Drop two loons down for good measure on the cannon, but that cannon's locked on the king. Even swagging two loons way over there on the far right-hand side of the map. And uh, myself getting it done with this 10v10 three-star. 
uh, and also had one 10v10 on rigs. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and show some other, you know, some other attacks. But definitely want to get out, get that attack out to you guys. Bring in the Falcon to Premier. Absolutely loved it. Okay, next up we have Suga E, aka Geo, and doing the. It, it, I'm actually surprised, you guys, that this attack strategy isn't used more uh, 10v10, but definitely wanted to bring this one to you guys on the channel. Doing a straight up shattered Lolo. How, I mean, again, you'd think you'd see it, an attack strategy like this more often, but we just don't. Uh, but yes, bringing the, uh, doing this with a shattered Lolo, bringing two, yes, that's two golems to this attack. And right off the bat, getting a nice funnel set with one bowler, getting some bounces off the DE storage onto the drill. That completely set the funnel on the far right hand side. Just a baby dragon and a Valkyrie and a wizard to create the funnel on the other side. Everything's gonna kind of clump up on that town hall. Jump spell, didn't bring any wall breakers to this attack. Jump spell, getting those troops into the core where he can reach uh, two air defenses, an expo, a wizard tower, and even an inferno tower. So huge value from this entry as those long compartments lead everything right there into the core. He's gonna go ahead and start his Lalo over here on the right hand side of the base to drop down a few balloons to take care of the archer tower and mortar. Once he goes ahead and takes that out, he's gonna go ahead and drop down one hound, uh, one camp hound, and the rest of his balloons over here at six o'clock. <clears throat> well, they're gonna go ahead and get hasted into that air defense. Go ahead and take that out. And check that out, hound tanking that wizard tower perfectly. All those balloons are gonna go ahead and clump up and take it out. Another haste spell over there at three o'clock. And another haste spell, just to kind of push these loons in. And just a few defenses left on the back end. But if you look carefully, dude has two more raid spells and a couple loons left to deploy. There goes the raid spell. They're pretty much going to one-shot the rest of these defenses. They're going to clump up on that Inferno Tower, take it out, and even going to go ahead and swag that rage. Didn't even use it. Uh, just completely ended up wrecking this base with Shat. Like I said, I'm surprised we don't see this attack more often at Town Hall 10. But look at that. Getting the three star and even doing it with style. Getting that swag. Beautifully, beautifully done. So I'll go ahead and check out this attack coming from Chimo. What he's going to be doing to this base is a classic Sui Hero Lalo. But again, doing it with a little style. Check out how... I mean, traditionally, when you see a Sui Hero Lalo, you're dropping down King, you're setting the funnel on the other side, and you're pretty much dropping down Queen directly behind him. But look at what he goes ahead and does to this base. Look at how patient he's being. Has not dropped the Archer Queen, is waiting for the King to pretty much clear this entire side, and knowing that there's only a pair of uh, point defenses on him, you know that that ability is going to go ahead and get through quite a few buildings, kind of dodges that single shot Inferno Tower, locked on for just a second, but check that out. Once he created the funnel, once he got rid of enough trash, uh, that queen directly targeted the cannon. That's going to go from cannon to Tesla to air defense uh, as he goes ahead and pops the ability. There goes the AD, and you can see that he's already started to break that defensive ring to set up the show for the flight portion and pre-dropping three haste spells. We can go ahead and target uh, the Archer Tower, the Wizard Tower, and the other Archer Tower, pushing them in. They're gonna go ahead and clump up and take out that Expo. And here comes the main flight, dropping down that max level uh, Lava Hound first to go ahead and tank that air defense that's pretty much right there in the core, getting a little pushback from the Sweeper, but with that Rage Spell, it's gonna push all those loons right through these defenses. Another Haste Spell coming in at nine o'clock to go ahead and take out the air defense that was over on that, that far right-hand side and still has a, another heal or one more heal spell left to deploy as he drops his second and final rage. And check this out, gonna go ahead and drop that heal spell down, covering the two point defenses and that wizard tower. Got a nice split from those loons. Has all kinds of cleanup, taking care of this trash. Do not want to get a time fail. And the last defense to go down will not threat the loons because it is a cannon. Chimo getting it done. Uh, with a classic, but also a unique twist to that Sui Hero Lalo as he went ahead and funneled all that trash with the King. 
absolutely loved it uh, before we went ahead and dropped down the Archer Queen. All right, next up, this will be our, what, this this is our fourth and final uh, 10v10 we'll be showing you guys on this video. This one coming from College Drilling, and because our 10v11 crew came in and wrecked it, um, Callup, being a 10v11 guy, since all the bases are already doubled, we went ahead and used his attack for 10v10. And of course, he's going to be getting a three star. I think he's two, his last two attacks, 10v10, getting the three star, doing this one with bitch, but what made this one even more special. Wait till you guys see the value that he gets from these loons that he's bringing. Again, another unique attack, um, a kind of a unique twist. To, I mean, just your ordinary bitch, but bringing those loons with a hay spell. Loved uh, the subtle touches to a lot of these attacks uh, coming from this war. Those loons took out uh, two cannons that were up there at the top. They're going to go ahead and clump up, take out the wizard tower, and take out another cannon. And he made it, it, it was this, it was as if he did this with such ease. This base right here actually took a few defenses, but Kala coming in, cleaning it up, getting us our eighth 10v10 three star from this war. So definitely had to bring you guys that and even swagging the Archer Queen ability. Watch the playback on that attack. Absolutely loved it. Like I said, our, uh, our 10v11 crew did very, very well this war, uh, much better than we have in previous wars. So I got to show you guys guys attack and not only was this a beautiful attack, um, but the fact that he got a four pack this war, a uh, huge shout out to him. Gotti always putting in work kind of, uh, he's the war general in all of our wars for the 10v11 crew. And this one definitely paying off, uh, not only for him, but for all the other 10v11 guys as well. So basically if you guys missed it, um, as I was as I was blabbing, went ahead and dropped down a few loons and a hay spell to go ahead and take out that archer tower. Even picked up both cannons. Uh, as we know, 10 v 11 being a percentage game, um, getting rid of that archer tower allowed him to get quite a few free buildings after that archer tower went down with just a couple minions, and there were some other free percent uh, throughout the base uh, with just some archers and other minions. Uh, so good scout. Um, before he went ahead and attacked this base. But Gollum coming down, uh, what he wants to do is set up a nice funnel for these Valkyries as he is bringing 15, what, 16 Valkyries for the push through this base. Just a straight up bowler smash dropping on that Gollum, bringing the heroes in behind, uh, followed up by a raid spell. Just completely carving out uh, this four o'clock section of this base. Here comes the Valkyries, went ahead and raged them in. Also has a jump spell and a heal spell, and yet another rage spell to push these Valks through the core of this base. One shotting the town hall. Look at this, just completely gutting this core. Only had to use a hay spell for the loons, one rage spell for the bowler smash part to go ahead and carve the funnel on the right hand side. And that left him with three elixir spells for that. Uh, that Valk dive for the Town Hall at 65%, and that Baby Dragon is going to take out the Archer Tower and and even the Mortar. So he's going to be ending this attack, you guys, at 66%. Very solid attack coming from Gotti, and like I already said, he did four pack this war. But I do want to give a big shout out to everybody in Fortune Steel for getting that victory, moving our record to a winning record, sitting at three and two in Premier Season Four. I want to give a big shout out to everybody over in Varhaisa Lake. Uh, uh, good luck to you guys in the rest of your season. Had a lot of fun uh, warring you guys, but FFS getting the victory, 115 to 113 uh, was the final. If you guys liked the video, make sure you guys hit that like button, comments, questions, or concerns down in the comment section below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. But that is gonna do it for this video. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.